All right, let's do some more stock market work. For the here and now, we've got Dave Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group, author of There's No Free Lunch. So, David, we're just seeing this rally year to date. The S&P is up over 8 percent. Today, the Dow is up 376. On the eve of the CPI report tomorrow, people are buying stocks. What do you make of it? Well, I think that today's action is probably front running. There's people that are worried about uh, being caught off sides, being short. If you do get a lower than expected CPI number, it accelerates this belief that perhaps the economy is going to land softly and the Fed's going to um, stop tightening. That's that sort of perfect scenario for risk investors. You could very well see a sell off tomorrow if CPI doesn't come in soft. This is what these short term traders that both are Prior guest burden myself don't like is 24 hours. There's no way to make an investment policy. Um, you think it's because uh, people are um, not concerned about balloons in the air and China invading the United States? I mean, the White House press conference this is a little bit unfair, but I have some fun. Uh, the White House press conference said there are no UFOs. There are no extraterrestrials. It is whatever it is. We're OK here on planet Earth. Well, I was wondering what was going on, but before the White House said it wasn't UFOs, I saw that the Dow was up 350 points, and so I already knew it couldn't be UFOs. Uh, the market, the price discovery of Friedrich Hayek tell, telling me there's no extraterrestrial invasion from outer space. If the CPI tomorrow, I mean, I'm with you. These short-term swings are meaningless. If the CPI tomorrow comes in a little worse, you think this, um, the, this is going to be a large-scale sell-off? I don't necessarily think uh, the CPI being, let's say, 0.1 higher, but it depends on the ingredients, okay? And this is something I've been focused on for a long time. If it's shelter that is still showing a higher read, the market knows that's coming down, and the lag effect just, you know, gets dragged out another month or two. The key is, does the terminal rate of Fed funds, do people really believe the Fed goes up to five and a half instead of five or five and a quarter? I don't think it's going to happen, and I don't believe the market thinks it's going to happen. The long end of the curve has come down quite a bit. The short end has stayed higher. So if the market's wrong on anything, it's that there won't be a soft landing. And guys like Ed Yardini and myself, who think it's very possible the economy will land soft, then, you know, Yardini ends up being wrong. But right now, that's what the market expects, Larry, is that the Fed is going to soften and that the market is not uh, facing a tough economic 2023. Bert Malkio, former Princeton professor, says buy stocks for the long run. Random walk down Wall Street. What do you think? It got a little less than a well, minute. I, I, yeah, and so you say it, uh, uh, Siegel says it, and Bert says it. Absolutely, stocks are long-term investments. I very much believe it. The difference is how you do so. And he says, index, buy and hold, and you'll be fine. I think that's basically true when you enter from a reasonable multiple. But the difference is, from when he wrote that book, that five tech companies weren't 28% of the index 25, 30 years ago. Right. Now, your overweight, big cap growth, and you need multiples to go higher. That's why we like dividends, we're dividend-growth people, and yes, we're active. Good. David Bunsen.